Hey everybody! Welcome back to another exciting episode. You know how much I love a good laugh, right? There's nothing quite like the joy of a hearty chuckle to set the tone for what's to come. Well, good intros are like the opening jokes of your content. They grab your attention and make you want to stick around. They set the stage, create anticipation and give you a taste of the fun that's about to unfold. Imagine going to a concert where the band just walks on stage and starts playing without saying a word. Kind of awkward, right? There's no connection, no build-up, just a sudden start that leaves you feeling a bit lost. You need that build-up, that excitement, that connection with the audience. It's the difference between a lukewarm reception and a roaring welcome. That's what a good intro does. It sets the tone, creates a connection, and gets everyone on the same page, ready for the journey ahead. Think of your content like a show. Every great show has a memorable opening that hooks the audience right from the start. You want people to be excited from the moment they walk in. The anticipation should be palpable, the energy electric. A strong intro is key to hooking your audience and making them eager to hear what you have to say. It's your chance to make a first impression that lasts. So, how do you write an intro that's more exciting than a dancing puppy video? Let's dive in. We'll explore the elements that make an intro not just good, but great. From the hook that grabs attention to the promise that keeps them watching, we'll cover it all. Stay tuned, because by the end of this, you'll be crafting intros that leave your audience wanting more. All right, so you've nailed your overall intro. Amazing! That's a huge step, but it's just the beginning. The real magic happens when you can keep that energy and engagement going throughout your entire presentation. Now, let's talk about those mini intros for each section of your content. These are crucial because they help your audience follow along and stay interested. Think of them as transitions like changing the stage set for a new act in a play. Just as a play needs smooth scene changes to keep the audience immersed, your presentation needs seamless transitions to maintain flow. Each section should flow smoothly into the next, building on the information you've already shared. This continuity helps reinforce your message and makes it easier for your audience to understand and remember your key points. You want to keep that momentum going, just like a stand-up routine needs a good rhythm. In comedy, timing is everything, and the same goes for your presentation. A well-timed transition can make all the difference. A great way to do this is by giving a little preview of what's coming up. Tease the next section to build anticipation and keep your audience on the edge of their seats. For example, you could say something like, now that we've talked about the importance of good lighting, let's move on to the main event, choosing the perfect camera. This not only signals a transition, but also keeps your audience curious and engaged. See how that works? You're creating a natural bridge between ideas and keeping your audience engaged. It's like leading them on a journey where each step is connected to the last. Don't be afraid to use humor or anecdotes to make these transitions more relatable and enjoyable. A light-hearted moment can refresh your audience and make your content more memorable. Visual aids and props can also be incredibly effective. They not only illustrate your points, but also provide a visual cue that a new section is beginning. Engage with your audience by asking questions or encouraging participation. This interaction can serve as a natural transition and keeps your audience actively involved. Remember, keep it short, sweet and exciting. Each mini intro should be a quick, energetic bridge that keeps your audience excited for what's next. With these tips, you'll master the art of seamless transitions 
and keep your presentation dynamic and engaging from start to finish. OK, now it's time to get your audience involved. Asking questions is like throwing a beach ball into the crowd. It gets people interacting and keeps the energy high. Think about your content and what your audience might be wondering. What are some burning questions they might have? Don't be afraid to ask them directly. For example, if you're talking about baking a cake, you could ask, have you ever wondered why cakes sometimes sink in the middle? See? Now you've got them hooked and eager to hear the answer. Questions create a two-way conversation, making your audience feel like they're a part of something. And who doesn't love a good back and forth? Section 4. Answering questions. Don't leave them hanging. This section is all about the importance of addressing the questions your audience has. It's a crucial part of engaging with your viewers and ensuring they feel heard and valued. You've asked the questions, now it's time to deliver the answers. This is your moment to shine and show your audience that you are attentive and responsive. Answering questions is not just about providing information, it's about building a connection and trust with your audience. Don't leave your audience hanging like a contestant on a cliffhanger episode. Imagine the suspense and frustration they feel when their questions go unanswered. It's like watching a thrilling show and never getting to see the conclusion. Answering your questions thoroughly and clearly shows your audience that you value their engagement and are there to provide valuable information. It demonstrates that you are knowledgeable and prepared, which in turn boosts your credibility and authority on the subject matter. It's like giving them a little gift of knowledge. When you take the time to answer questions thoughtfully, you are enriching their experience and making them feel appreciated. This can lead to a more loyal and engaged audience. Think about it. If you asked someone a question and they just shrugged and walked away, you'd be pretty annoyed, right? Don't be that person. Ignoring questions can make your audience feel neglected and unimportant, which can harm your relationship with them. Be sure to answer the questions in a way that's easy to understand and relevant to your content. Use clear language and provide examples if necessary. This helps ensure that your audience can follow along and grasp the information you are sharing. You want to leave your audience feeling satisfied, informed and ready for more. When you answer questions effectively, you create a positive experience that encourages your audience to return for future content. It's all about fostering a sense of community and ongoing engagement. Section 5. Call to action. Get them up and moving. All right, you've got their attention, answered their questions. Now what? It's time for a call to action. This is where you tell your audience exactly what you want them to do next. It's like saying, OK, everyone, time to get up and dance. Give them clear instructions and make it easy for them to take action. Do you want them to leave a comment? Subscribe to your channel. Share your content with their friends. Tell them, be specific and enthusiastic and don't be afraid to make it fun. Section 6. Surveys. 